Joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. He ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. days, huh?
Who's there?
loud. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll.
Come to that. We got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open. You gotta hack that terminal to open up this door. I don't love the irony of the reverse damsel in distress scenario. Question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? I'm tracking a murderer. The bastard who shot my husband. Took my baby. I don't even have a clue who he is. Or where he's gone. So, you need a little angel of vengeance, huh? Well, I don't usually go after blood money, but I guess I can make an exception. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. 
And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time, muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge the rent. Empty vault. Perfect hideout. This is Vault Tech interview number 03 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Always on. Mr. Beasley. As overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. And they are vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve... Where the heck is he? Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement. on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Can't pick this. Almost got. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. again.
Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. It's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should've left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. What's the deal with you people and Nick anyway? Darla's a runaway. Her father wanted me to bring her back home. Turns out she skipped town to be with my old pal Skinny Malone, mob boss. Never thought he'd manage to scrape together a big enough crew to take over a vault. Guess life's full of surprises. Hey, who's running this show here? You got something to say? Say it to me. You and Nick know each other? <laughs> yeah. This troublemaker here used to be a real headache back in the day. Before we got kicked out of the old neighborhood. <laughs> Must have done this dance a hundred times. Enemies are kind of the closest thing you get to friends in these parts. Now quit stalling! You gonna talk? Talk! Look at yourself. Darla is playing you for a sap. You're better than this. You're better than her. No one tells Skinny Malone how to run his affairs. I've had enough of this. Time for the hard goodbye. Lighter or heavier with all those holes in him. Now the bullets probably add a few ounces. Good night, sweet prince. Here's to all the old days. It'll be an awkward conversation with Darla's parents when I tell them their daughter bit the big one. Well, at least the case is closed. Let's get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. I have 
my ways. Really? <laughs> well, I'm glad those ways included shooting down mobsters. Wasn't looking forward to haunting that place. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City.